Hello and welcome to the section 3 of the course File Analysis Forensics Tools and Techniques. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about various file analysis tools and then how we can analyze these files that we are going to cover here. Let's start with the first video Sleuth Kit Overview. In this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. We will learn about what is Sleuth Kit and what are the various features available there. So now let's talk about Sleuth Kit here. So what is Sleuth Kit? So Sleuth Kit is a collection of forensics utilities. It means there are various forensics tools are available and it is a collection of these tools and that is called Sleuth Kit. It can parse NTFS, FAT, EXT and other file systems. Yeah, so basically we can use these file systems with the help of Sleuth Kit. Now if you talk about what are the tools available there. So there are two types of tools available. One is command line, second is GUI tool. So first is command line tool and second is the GUI tool available there. So GUI tool is form of autopsy, right? So autopsy is available in Windows as well as in Kali Linux machine and it is open source so you can use it. So Sleuth Kit can be used with the help of autopsy or it can also be used with the help of the command line tools. Now what are the uses? So the first use is you can analyze disk images easily. So if you have a drive or disk, if you want to analyze it, right? If you have the image of that disk, you can simply analyze that disk image with the help of Sleuth Kit. It is going to provide you information of the file system inside it. If the images are available there or the data is available there, you can recover it. And you can also recover files from disk. So that can be done with the help of Sleuth Kit. And the most important thing is it is open source platform. So you don't need to pay to use Sleuth Kit. It is open source. It is available for free. You can use it inside the Linux machine or you can also use it inside Windows machine. Right. So these are the features available there. 